<laughs> Hello everyone. Tony and I have teamed up with Jeff and Leela and we're on the hunt for a new mining claim for them. So join us as we get into some trouble and see what we can find. Welcome to Outdoor Adventure TV. Yep, we're an outman. Where else would you be? And there's Tony. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, just wants a friend, Tony. Whatever, friend. Well, let's get down. ice cream. No, <laughs> not watch his lips. <laughs> no. My ice cream. <laughs> Hi guys. Baby. Hi, baby. No, okay. They're all over here waiting, Tony. Gotta get those little green cubes. No, you don't you don't need any sorry mate, you don't need this. No no no. <laughs> we have more. Oh, man. Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> don't don't eat my can. Over the edge, I'm going to put a rope protector on that timber. Although the timber's going to be really, really soft anyway. But, anyway, but can't hurt. But we'll put a rope protector over that. Probably going to make use of this so the rope comes over here. Puts me dead center of the uh, the haulage shaft. Haulage shaft, manway. I'm going down there because it's dead clear all the way to the bottom. That has got so much rubbish and God knows what's gone down there. So I can drop straight past it here. And... Um, should be pretty easy to SRT back up this way. Or for you guys to come down and follow me. And we're we'll come yes. up this way. Yeah, it's good. We yeah, all have uh, to head down. So yeah, heading on down where that is. Hey, what are you gonna say? So come on! Let's, Let's go! go! This, this doesn't have the stupid handle. <laughs> Oh, I love that stupid handle. <laughs> Everybody that's used to these goes, what the hell do you want a handle for? Uh, Everyone that goes for the new one goes, oh, I like the handle. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's... Uh, but the one with the handle, you can stop 100% hands-free. Can you do that with that? Well, now I'll put a new bobbin on the top of this. Uh, so now I you can should, stop? Yeah, I, I should yeah. be able to stop. Okay. Because I remember you had some issues with it sliding. Uh, yeah, it's a not stop or slow. Okay. Yeah, so I should be able to stop with that, especially with this this rope. It really doesn't want to go through. Got it. So I'm tied on. I'm not going anywhere. There's no pretty way to get over the edge. So loud, a lot look, of wind. Look at the clouds. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my knackers are caught. <laughs> the rope's in the wrong spot, Tony. You want me to dress it over the bolt? I'm gonna get myself. Position. Get it. Oh, over there. Nice. What are you doing? You're not filming this, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. My knuckers uh, are stuck. I do know what. Wait a minute. Is. How are you gonna get up? And... Uh, I've never seen you struggle get over the edge. Uh, it's stuck on. Cut that. I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> Man. So we might have just missed a bit of film then. I just went over here yeah. and straight onto it. Nothing to see here. No problem at all. Just have to change my underwear. <laughs> I'm even going to switch my light on. Really? Oh, you got a radio? Uh, no. You do now? He hates radios. Ah, uh, but radios. I need communication. You got your radio, sweetie? Yeah. Uh, let me take a picture. Do you, uh, can you see the, the phone, Tony? Can I see the what? Can oh, the, see her the phone. phone. Hello. Sorry, there's something noise. I can do this. Uh, is that the guy's face? You just delete that photo. No. Damn it. I heard there's a phone down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We'll go upside down then, will we? Whee! Got your okay. hands on it. Off he goes. Tony. Tony. How's that laggy? I see a pea sticking out. Ah, um, he's actually just dropped down a little bit. Okay. The bottom the bottom has broken off, so he's just slipped down. Ah. Uh, the nails out. Nice. Um, it's fine behind it. The rest of it is brilliant. 
Nice. Yeah, it looks it nice. looks tidy. Yeah, it looks clean. All right, I guess we're gonna drop a shaft. I heard that there's a crazy British man at the bottom. You've got to go rescue him, huh? And we're gonna rescue him so we could have chips and what is it, fish and chips? Fish and chips. I don't know today. what they eat over there. <laughs> so we're gonna go down there and see if we can find him. Because if he's down there, I want to know. Nice. I feel like Gilligan's Island. All right. Let's get on down and find out what's down there. Ugh. All right, everything looks good. That looks good. That's tight. Straps are tight. Butt is tight, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right, I go. wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. All right, here we go. <sighs> Mind that camera? Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Hello, sir. That's it. Give, right a, here. Get, give a good kick backwards, mind your bum. Get to the wall and kick back, and you can swing, drop, and you'll be on your feet in uh, the passage. I'm, I'm, I'm even going to guide you. How's that? Oh, on your butt in the passage, even better. Hey! Uh, hey! What are you doing in my hole? Uh, I think I'm gonna try your thing. Oh, that yeah, that's high up, mind you. It's uh, oh yeah, that's you got a cave and harness type thing. Yeah, it does all squash up tight, but that rope is horrible to abseil. Don't touch this post because I'm in the middle of okay. assembling it. Why are you out of breath? What's up? You hang down, hang out, Warm down here. Yeah. So how did they dump into the bucket? I don't know. I think I'm going to try your bobbin. I don't really like this. It's going to be a side tipper, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> I've got a, a spare stop in, uh, in my bag. Welcome to give it a go. I don't like that one. On verticals? No. Can you Yours looks so much easier. Put that over that so it doesn't swing away from us. <laughs> Turn around, go on. I'm caught. <laughs> That's alright, you've got loads of stack. Just, just throw it over just so it doesn't swing away. That's it. Okay. There you go. I, uh, I've videoed, but I think the camera was uh, on photo rather than video, so I'm going to have to do it again. Alright. Down. It's kind of cool, the metal rope ladder, whatever, however you would describe it. Ah. But it's going from this level downwards, so right. it obviously carried on going. Nice ladders. Yeah, so it starts from just down here. Beautiful thing. So that's where it stops? No, the, the rope ladder starts here. Oh. Oh, is your hands on it? Yeah, it's it's tied onto one of these ties. This next one. Oh yeah, I see it. Hooks on and off it goes. That is oh, that's 40s. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. 
I wonder if they use that as a temporary ladder as they're dropping the shaft before they put the sets and lagging in. Yeah, and unless they lost the next platform down or something, I don't know. They might have lost a couple of sets of square set and kind of didn't want to give in. Right. Yeah, can you get behind there? We came down this shaft, I would say maybe 65, 70 feet to this point. Pretty good this side. The manway is maybe not quite so good. Um, I've cleared some of the ladders here. The ladders themselves are as good as new. I mean, look at that. Beautiful ladder. But unfortunately, further down, it's a big mess. Uh, I've been down there. It's a pretty solid collapse. You could maybe dig your way through it, but uh, it would be hard work and pretty risky, not knowing what's below it. But it certainly did carry on. All we've got between us and the surface is this level here. Very nice little level. We've still got one of the miners left here still eaten away. That's what miners done in those days. <laughs> so initially I thought this level was blocked, but it has actually been backfilled. Um, carries on down there as far as you can see. Turns to the left about 20 feet. You drop down onto the passage floor. Carry on, goes around to the left, around to the right, sorry. Carries on for another 50, 60 feet and you just come to an end. There is a date on the end of 1940. Uh, couldn't read the exact date, but uh, the 14th of something, 1940. Um, but that's it. Comes back this way, lovely track. Past the, past the shaft. I'm assuming they would come, that's the man way there. So I'm assuming they would come along and have a side tipper into a into the tub carries on lovely track around the bend look how pretty that is isn't that nice beautiful the side cut they've gone both ways to have a little look they've gone yeah this one's been backfilled to the roof so no idea how far it went i'm guessing probably not that far Nice backfill, stacked deads, carries on, and as I say, lovely track. John Gavin, it's quite warm down here. We've had a bit of a bit of a little collapse in from the side here. This rock is very, very soft. And they got this far and went, yeah, that'll do. So it's as far as they went. But uh, nice, nice flake peeling off here. Yeah, it all moves all the way. Very nice. Had they carried on that way another 60, 80 feet, they'd probably come out on the side of the mountain. I'm guessing they didn't really want to do that. There's crickets everywhere. I don't know if you can see them moving around in there. <laughs> yeah, best is just don't look at the ceiling. Other than that, ooh, not much at all. Yeah, more work is below, I'm sure, but unfortunately we can't get to them. No, I do like this track. Interesting. There's a little sleeping rat. And Back to our little miner, still eating. There you go. Uh, Jeff, could you pull the slack up onto that level, please? Yep. And then we can manhandle it from there. Got it. Before we go up, I'll get Joanne to pull the slack up. So yep. we've only got the rope we need. You've learned that trick from us, haven't you? Yes, I have. Thank you, 
pizza. Yep. Nice timber. Yeah. Nice, nice. I always like looking at how they put the sets together because there's all different ways you can lock those together. You see how, can you see how this is trimmed at an angle? Yeah. I think in one of your videos you saw you put it down and you yep. tuck it up behind. Yep, and then you put it on a little one inch uh, strip on the back. Yep. I think this is a, a hanging ladder. Uh-huh. Anything good under there? No. Nothing very good. No. Can you pass me my rock hammer right up against the wall there, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. You betcha. It's not going in. Uh, and one of those, that top wedge there, please. Beautiful. That beautiful, beautiful wedge. Look how old that is. Yeah, and it's hardwood. Look how many rings are in it. Mm -hmm. Tight. Now you know that the piece you're hammering on, that used to be a guide. It looks like maybe, because look at this. See the holes here? The counter sound? Oh yeah, th this this was just this was just here. Okay. Uh, well, it, it was kind of loose and just leaning up like, behind the ladder. Right. So I thought, you know what? I might as well put it in place. Yeah, why not? But it, uh, it won't do any harm. For the sake of it, if it keeps the mine alive for one more year, that's fine. But we all know what it's called, really. Um, I've got it through his chest ascender at the moment, so he's safe on the edge of the uh, shaft. And then you attach all the rest of the equipment. We've adjusted his foot loop so he gets a nice reach as he's going up. And um, yeah, we're gonna go up. If we need to adjust it, we can adjust it, but we're gonna see how it goes. With a foot jammer, you need the, a little bit of weight on the rope. So when we're right at the bottom of the rope like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the end of it. What we tend to do is we get the, the person to climb up a, a few feet so I can get underneath him and then hold the end of the rope snap his foot ascender in and then off he goes. Holding rope just gives a little bit of control. All right. So um, we'll get Jeff over the edge and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. So take up the slack. So step down, pull the slack until you basically just gently swing out. You're not going anywhere. Obviously keep an eye when you get to the other side. And that's it. I'm gonna step down and so I can get kind of below you. We'll put that through there. So I need you to step up a little bit. So just, just as you would normally do. Perfect, go up another one. And, and again, yeah. And then we are gonna snap that in. It works, <laughs> good camera work. Works exactly the same as a chest harness. So a, a um, chest ascender. That's it. Mind your head. <laughs> Let's pull you out and twiddle you around a bit. Wee! There you go. What is it catching on? I can't see. I can hear it catching on something. And it's a it's a long, long old slug up these ropes. Oh man.
Nice job, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little adventure today. There's lots more on the channel. So watch one of these videos and see what kind of trouble we can get into.